Today I will continue the series where I test wines and I will try a glass of rosé wine since many of you asked me to. We will see what a glass of rosé wine does to my blood sugar level. So here we have a glass of about 25 centiliters, I imagine. Uh, it is a normal portion that we often have at restaurants. In there, there are about 4 grams of carbohydrates, no fats, no proteins. And about 14 grams of alcohol. So rosé wine is very low in carbohydrates, which in theory is rather a good thing for... On the other hand, many of you mentioned in the comments that alcohol can inhibit glucose production by the liver, and so it increases the risk of hypoglycemia, especially for people who are diabetic. So I apologize for not mentioning that in the previous video. I should have. Thank you very much to everyone who left additional information in the comments, which is very important. So now I'm going to drink this glass of rosé on an empty stomach and we'll see the impact it has on my blood sugar. Let's go. Okay, so it's been more than two hours since I drank my glass of rosé. It made me a bit dizzy since I was fasting. We're now going to check the glucometer right here to see what happened. And if you can subscribe, it would help my account a lot and help more people get videos like this. So, thank you. So, we see that the blood sugar level has remained fairly stable, which is quite normal after a glass of rosé. It went up a little bit, sometimes it can even go down. So it's quite representative of low-carb alcoholic drinks. Remember that alcohol can inhibit glucose production by the liver, so it can be a risk, so be careful in general. Alcohol is considered as, as being not very good for health, even though some people say a little alcohol can provide antioxidants. There is still a lot of debate on that subject. I leave it to you to continue commenting in the comments to really fuel the debate. There are many things I don't know.